सो हेलो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक वेलकम टू योर चैनल कुकिंग एस्ट्रोलॉजी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर सब्सक्राइबिंग माई चैनल एंड लाइकिंग माई वीडियोज थैंक्स लॉट सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू आर जर्नी अवर सीरीज ऑफ लॉर्ड्स थ्रू हाउसेज इन वेदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड आव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड अप टिल द एट्थ हाउस एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड नाइन्थ हाउस लॉर्ड गोइंग थ्रू ऑल द ट्वेल्थ हाउसेज इन वेदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी and what are going to be the kind of results that are associated with this particular placement but first of all let me help you to understand this is the most important house in vedic astrology and this is the biggest house which is the contribution factor behind all form of raj yogas in your horoscope when i say raj yoga it means the planetary combinations or some sort of combination of planets in your horoscope have the ability to give you financial success it may be personal life success it may be professional success it may be a very good married life so this lord ninth house lord is capable of giving you some sort of advantage in your life even for example out of the 12 houses only the ninth house lord is powerful and rest of your chart is very pathetic that is not in a very good condition still i will tell you this single ninth house lord have the ability to give you hope because if originally you look into the kal purush kundli also this is ruled by the sign of sagittarius so the sign of sagittarius is actually governed by jupiter so this is the planet of optimism jupiter also represents some sort of expansion and growth in your life even you also need to study the planetary conjunction of this particular ninth house lord because one thing you need to understand here ninth house lord itself is also capable but if this lord suppose going in the first second or maybe 10th house and this is forming conjunction with some other planet so this particular ninth house lord have the ability to improve the significance of that planet at the same time all the zodiac signs that are controlled by the other planet other planets that are actually sitting with the 9th house have the ability to give upliftment from the that area of your life like let me give you small example 9th house lord is in conjunction with the 11th house lord so this actually have the ability to improve the financial gains into your life irrespective of the condition i'm talking about here please don't judge 9th house lord through its dignity specifically the 9th house most of the planets i will tell you they are going to give you a very good results if they are in a very well dignified kind of a condition but still if the ninth house lord suppose not well posited in your horoscope this is not in a positive zodiac sign or not in its own zodiac sign friendly or suppose either if this lord is going in the enemy house or if this lord is actually getting debilitated still i will tell you ninth house lord does not lose its full significance this lord still have the ability to protect your complete life because you also need to understand one very important factor ninth house is actually deeply connected with the next house that is the 10th house and this is previously connected with your 8th house so both of these houses the house of transformation and the 10th house that is the house of your career so both are deeply interconnected with this particular 9th house this is also the house which represents long distance travel long distance journeys if you are looking for any sort of permanent settlement into the foreign country then i will tell you rather than looking into the 4th house and even the 12th house you must need to pay attention towards the 9th house at the same time because if this lord is not moving then it become very difficult for you to create any sort of movement into your life like uh, have you seen the all the flights that are going here there so individuals are taking long distance journeys continuously so that long distance journeys in your life going abroad any kind of a settlement abroad that thing is going to be triggered by the 9th house so this is the triggering house even this is the house of your gurus this is not a school teacher this is a guru mean the teacher or a preacher who is actually going to guide you who is going to give you the direction in the similar manner the ninth house lord itself is the direction towards your life if you want to understand in which area i am going to put my efforts in order to receive the maximum possible results this is ninth house 
suppose you are right now in such kind of a situation where you are totally fed up from your career specifically career okay it may be by doing a job by doing a business or maybe self employment so you are totally fed up money is not coming in your life pay attention towards this house if this house lord is going anywhere in the chart you need to just follow that direction it may be in conjunction with mercury then mass media communication is going to give you good thing if it is with mars and saturn and then some technical oriented engineering related activities have the ability to give you wealth like if it is with conjunction with specifically jupiter mercury or some other benefic planets then the career in the finance financial activity share market stock market so in that way you actually need to connect the ninth house lord in your horoscope even suppose if this lord is sitting all alone like not forming any conjunction still try to read the aspects because ninth house lord is going to aspect some places away seventh place seventh place or the seventh aspect is the common drishti but if it is suppose jupiter saturn then you need to try to study their special aspects at the same time because this is the improvement factor god have actually given you some savior thing in your horoscope so even if you are like penniless in some times or uh, like having no money still this is the biggest hope factor because hope is going to give you the survival you are surviving if you are going to lose everything one day still the hope is going to be present over there even this is the house which represents your belief systems like how strong your belief systems are going to be if you believe in one thing then you truly believe in that thing or not so that belief systems are also seen from 9th house have you seen some like foreign marriages many of you ask me the question of like a uh, foreign marriage or like intercaste and the community marriage how to actually see and predict ninth house is going to play a very important role because even the if you pay attention towards the marriage and the married life aspect also still bhagya is very important bhagya means the fortune luck factor so where the luck is going you need to go in that direction if you are not uh, going with the flow of your planetary energies it become very difficult for you to gain results so you need to understand one very important thing this is the contributing factor behind any sort of raj yogas all the big 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 raj yogas it may be lakshmi yoga wealth giving combinations it may be karma dharma adhipati yoga that is also formed through the ninth house so this is a very unique house in itself it is very important for you to like minutely decode how the ninth house lord is going in this direction this is in conjunction with that thing and then try to study the whole perspective because you need to understand one thing from individual to individual horoscope these predictions might going to differ but i'm giving you the cumulative predictions on how the ninth house lord is going to behave in all the 12 houses first of all if the ninth house lord is itself posited in the ninth house this is also the biggest contributing factor behind the raj yoga in your horoscope but one thing you need to understand if the ninth house lord is sitting in the ninth house this is creating a fixation it become very very difficult for you individuals to actually do some sort of a movement into your life and when i say movement like changing locations relocation moving from one location to some new location it may be because of the personal reasons or maybe because of the professional reasons like changing a job like looking for new where to actually conduct a business so that changing of location is actually going to become bit difficult if the ninth house lord is posited in the ninth house but if some planet is expecting then the scenario might going to change but this is going to create a fixation over there second important thing this house will try its hard to protect all the other areas of your life if the planet like so for example moon saturn or any other planet if it is sitting over there this you can personally observe the significance of that planet is actually going to get destroyed because i have even seen in my personal observations also by looking into various charts various planetary combinations if the planet like jupiter particularly jupiter benefics like okay moon jupiter mercury and venus if out of four these four planets if they are the controlling factor of the 9th house and then they are sitting in the 9th house then they have the ability to create problems with regards to marriage and the married life aspect 
and this is highly advisable and recommended for all of you individuals you must need to find a partner outside of your caste creed and the cultural background cultural differences are going to act as a savior or the saving factor in your life because the reason why this is going to create difficulties because this is your belief system ninth house lord sitting in the ninth house itself is going to give a very strong belief system the individual that is going to a very strong ideology so it become very difficult for them to adjust with some other person ideologies of their life so they are going to become bit critical over there if the malefics like mars saturn and even for example rahu and ketu conjunction is also forming over there you need to understand one very important thing malefics are going to represent some sort of a karmic debt that is actually the baggage which you have carry forward in this present life because this is not only this birth ninth house is your next life also fifth house is your past life purva punya bhav or the purav sanchit karma past life deeds ninth house is the next birth so if you want to understand like what i'm going to take from this life it may be knowledge it may be i'm doing some sort of a tapasya here some penance over there so you are going to have the ability to take the good karmas from this life into the next life malefics if they are going to posited over there they are going to create a lot of friction in between even malefics in this house they tend to disturb the family environment a lot although they have the ability to make you professionally very successful it depend upon which planet is controlling sitting over there so the significance of that planet is actually getting enhanced but i will tell you if the karmic planets when i say karmic planets so the rahu and ketu axis if that karmic axis is actually posited over there for example rahu ketu and the ketu is in the ninth house and the ninth house lord is somewhere else or even for example this is sitting in that particular axis and ninth house lord is getting hemmed between the rahu and ketu axis it shows some sorted of a fixed karmas that are correlated with your lives if the ninth house lord is in a conjunction with rahu and ketu axis then the 42 and the 48th year you are going to observe a major transformations in your life at the age of 42 and then after the age of 48 at the same time even this is much advisable for you to actually work minimum 50 km away from your place of birth if the ninth house lord is sitting in the ninth house in order to remove the fixation from your chart next if the ninth house lord is going in the 10th house first of all ninth house is your dharm bhav okay and 10th house is your karm bhav so if the 10th house lord is also posited over there then this is going to be a karma dharma adipati yoga but still if so, for example 9th 10th house lord is not in conjunction with the 9th house lord and that is going over there still this is going to contribute towards your karmas it means these individuals intent is always going to be very very pure no matter how hard it for you to like follow that righteous path you are always going to follow the righteous path because as soon as you are going to even think about doing something bad or taking the wrong direction immediately you will receive the punishment back into your life because something is watching you all the time it may be some god or you can consider some higher supreme or divine energy so that is watching your karmas and even that is watching your dharma as well dharm specifically mean the intent of a person if two individuals they are doing a job one is doing 9 to 5 again second is doing 9 to 5 the first person is going solely to acquire money and the second person is going to job for contribution like let me do some sort of a contribution in the society so you see the intent of two human beings one is for money and one is for selfless service towards humanity so you need to first of all keep your intent very pure it become very difficult for you to succeed by keeping your intent impure with this particular combination this is also going to be a very strong business combination when i say business combination doing or like setting up some sort of a industries specifically if the saturn and mars are also very favorable in your horoscope and they are supporting you then i will tell you with the support of your bhagya you actually have the ability to create something like generational wealth where all the coming generations 
maybe your kids, their kids, so they have the ability to sit and feed. Because you need to understand one very important thing. The more the strength of the ninth house lord going in the tenth house, it means the more amount of blessings are present in your life. It is also not necessary if right now you are a student watching this video, having this combination. So you are going in a college, pursuing some sort of a degree and you are a very average student in your college. It is not necessary here. Because if Bhagya is coming in the career, so your Bhagya, your luck factor is going to support you in the career. It is not necessary Bhagya is supporting you in education. Education and career, they both are totally two different things. You cannot like value education and career at the same time. Some of the individuals, they tend to excel in their education. Some individuals excel in their career. So this is that combination where even the education is average, they are going to excel in their career environment. Also one very important thing, if particularly individuals with this combination are doing, going for a job, like a 9 to 5 job or maybe 10 or 12 hours of work, what is going to happen? It is going to create a splitting pattern in your career. Like this is, for example, the 40 years of your career. Okay. I'm just giving you one example. So there are going to be a lot of speed breakers that are going to be present in between. No matter how hard you try, it becomes very difficult for you to break that speed breakers. This even have the ability to give you multiple sort of experiences from different directions. It is not necessary if you have pursued education in technical side, so you are going to work into technical side. No. This is going to take you into some real estate sector also. All the other areas, maybe lawyers, advocates. So this combination have the ability to give you career based upon your bhagya. But you need to keep your intent very, very pure. Now, if the ninth house lord going in the 11th house, this is again a Raj Yoga. Because here, the Bhagyasthan Lord is actually going in the 11th house of your incoming gains, your hopes, wishes and desires. So it also means, if suppose you are incapable of fulfilling your hopes and wishes and desires, some other person have the ability to fulfill that thing for you. Because this is also the house of professional friend circle. All the worthwhile opportunities in your life. It may be the opportunities for gaining money, opportunities for good career, opportunities for marriage, opportunities for traveling. All the worthwhile opportunities in your life, they are actually going to come through the 11th house. Because here the Bhagya factor is actually supporting you. Even if the dignity of the 9th house lord going in the 11th house is very powerful, then your efforts are going to be that much and gains are going to be that much. You see the difference? So this is very important house. But I will tell you, if the dignity is weak, then your efforts are going to be way hard and the results are going to be very less. Because one thing you also need to understand that Lord must need to be free from all the afflictions. If any affliction or some any negative influence falling on the ninth house, Lord, this ninth house Lord will try its hard to actually protect you from that negative influence. And in order for you to protect that from negative influence, ninth house lord loses its capabilities to give you some sort of a positive results. Even this is going to be a very extraordinary combination if the Parivartan Yoga is somewhat forming between the ninth and the eleventh house. Like ninth house lord going in the eleventh, eleventh house lord going in the ninth. If the Parivartan Yogas are forming in between or any other yoga like Lakshmi Yoga for example, like the 11th house lord going in the second house. This is also wealth giving combination. So you need to try to study the direction of the 11th house lord as well. In wherever house the 11th house lord is actually going, it shows you are going to basically earn money from that three different directions. Multiple income streams are also going to be seen with the 9th house lord going in the 11th house. Even the event of childbirth have the ability to bring lot of prosperity into your life. No matter even the relationship between you and your children, they are going to be cordial or not. But the event of childbirth have the ability to bring a lot of prosperity into your life. It also doesn't matter whether you are a male or a female, but this is the prosperity giving combination. Because 11th house is directly expecting the 5th house. So your bhagya is actually not connected with money that is connected with the higher 5th house. This is also a trine combination where the 5th and 9th both of the houses, they are going to become the contributing factor into your life. Here, your past life deeds, the Purva Sanchit Karmas, 
that will also come into present life like right now if you are a fortunate person if you are like have made a big fortune you you have not have any no knowledge of vedic astrology you are going to have this combination because here i will tell you not all your efforts are actually going to get converted into some sort of a gains but this is your purv sanchit karma so you have performed some pretty good karmas in the past life and that is where that contributing factor are going to be present over there but if the fifth house lord is very weak in this case then the scenario is going to be totally differ with this kind of a change as well even this combination have the ability to set up some sort of a big businesses if you want to combine most of the individuals together to form or set up some sort of a business very good combination even for self employment doing something of your own this combination have the ability to generate wealth or give you some sort of a money but it is very important for you individuals to grow your network circle and try to build network circle outside of your own home country as well foreigners are also going to be the contributing factor with this combination like foreign clients or maybe the foreign customers so that is going to be seen with this thing now the ninth house lord going in the 12th house first of all this is going actually quadrant places away four places away from its original placement and whenever the planet is going quadrant places away it means you don't have to put much efforts to gain the results from that area 12th house is actually the house of foreign land and the foreign country so first number one indicator is going to be the permanent settlement into the foreign country if it is not permanent then the temporary it may be because of leisure purposes you are going abroad you are traveling abroad because this is going to be that kind of a combination where you are doing a lot of traveling in your life but i will tell you if the 12th house lord is not in a very good dignity then it become very difficult for you to even move from your home to like maybe 1 km away so here the 12th house lord is also going to play a very important role along with third and fourth house even this is going to be a very spiritual combination it is very very important for all these individuals is actually to look career in the field of spirituality healing yoga meditation herbal medicines ayurvedic products into that particular sites if with this combination you are doing some sort of a technical activities although they are going to be give you money but personal satisfaction is not going to come because 12th house is the escape route this is the house of your imagination your far sightedness so this is the house if it is connected with your bhagya 9th house that is your belief system so it means universe is demanding some sort of a spiritual contribution from your side it is also like these individuals if you find they are going to be highly spiritual like they are going to have that kind of a aura or that sort of a mindset inside them like they are not going to have any impact of maya maya mean the money or the 21st century which you see this is complete maya all the rolls royals bmw audi and then other big brands big bungalow so this is maya so this is that kind of a placement where there is no prabhav of maya over them they are detached from this complete universe into their own spiritual centuries this is also very good combination if you want to become a writer like book writing publishing if you want to become a like director movie producer writing a some sort of a scripts for a movie because based upon their imagination they have the ability to actually create a picture inside their mind and then they can present that picture in front of other people very good even astrologers are going to be seen with this combination because this placement even have the ability to give vak siddhi sometime if the braspati or like specifically the planet moon and even sun also if they are doing such kind of a thing they are going to give you vak siddhi so no matter even if these individuals have the knowledge of astrology or not whatever they are going to say you will see that thing is going to happen so this is also going to be a very very powerful combination the difficulty actually lies with the hidden enemies and the next difficulty lies is actually between the marriage of these individuals although marriage is a very detailed oriented concept we need to look into other factor 7th house lord and uh, all the venus even the nabhan chart as well but i will tell you 12th house is also the contributing factor of your marriage 
if the dignity is not very very strong over there this is going to delay the marriage even in certain combinations or certain nakshatras this is even going to create some time denial of marriage also but please don't take this prediction as it is whole horoscope analysis is much needed because this is actually the individuals that are sometime moving on a pathway of salvation attaining moksha that is going to be their supreme aim or goal in their life so they feel that detachment from that materialistic side because this is not going to give them attachment this is a detached form of a combination now if the ninth house lord going in the lagna this is also very powerful combination because bhagya bhagya mean the fortune you are attracting fortune directly so bhagya is sitting over your head now it it you need to pay attention towards the planetary timings at the same time okay but i will tell you bhagya uday is going to happen sometimes in your life it may be in the late 70s early 20s mid 40s maybe 35 but bhagya uday is going to be seen over there your luck factor is going to support you even i have seen with this kind of a planetary combination suppose you have received a lot of criticism in the initial stages like you are very bad in education you are not good in career this thing that thing that thing wait until that triggering factor is going to be coming because i have already told you if some yoga is forming in your horoscope then that yoga actually have the ability to give you results we cannot have a, even as an astrologers we don't have the ability to change any individual horoscope and planetary alignments but if some raj yoga is actually present over there this have the ability to give you the results with regards to that areas of your life even one very important factor ninth house lord going in the first house if dignity is weak then all the world responsibilities are going to be upon your shoulder and the number one responsibility is going to be come through your family and this is going to be from very beginning of your childhood days when you are going to be that much so that is already pre decided like his bhagya is in the lagna you also need to try to study its conjunction at the same time because i will tell you here the responsibilities are going to be upon your shoulder all the time it become very difficult for you to feel that detachment as i discussed in the 12th house combination that detachment is there this is attachment even i recommend all that individuals with this combination is to be present in this materialistic realm and still try to experience spirituality in some other ways this is not that kind of a where you are going to run away from all the things of your life and you are going to enjoy your life in the secludedness no because some sort of distraction is going to come into your life at the same time even this is also going to be a very good combination for settling abroad at the same time because if lagna is getting impacted by the ninth house first of all the belief systems are going to be very strongly inherited inside these individuals like genetically programmed in such a way so it become very difficult for you to mold their belief systems but if the dignity is weak then these are the individuals that are attracted towards the foreign culture like i want to learn actually uh, not western astrology i want to learn vedic astrology so this is that kind of a combination where the more and more foreign inclination is going to be seen inside these individuals even this is also very special combination because this is also expecting the seventh house so whosoever is going to be in relationship with you their life is also getting improved you are the problem solver of their other people lives seventh house is other people so if sometime your bhagya is not supporting you this is supporting other people and if you are moving or doing some contribution in that direction of the life then you are going to receive the results from that other directions of the life but i will tell you if yoga is over there that yoga is going to fructify in your life even sometime i will tell you ha ah, fresh oxygen is there even like you need to actually look into the planet okay whether the mars is controlling or some other planet is controlling so which planet is actually controlling that house and going there so the maturity ages that are predefined so look into the maturity ages of that planet mars 28 mercury 32 saturn 35 36 rahu ketu axis 40 248 sun 21 jupiter 16 mercury 32 i told you even moon 24 and venus 25 so look into the maturity ages sometime the maturity age of these planets have the ability to complete a u turn directly into your life <sighs> now if the ninth house lord is going in the second house 
fresh oxygen is coming. I will tell you first of all, ninth house lord going directly in the second house is also a very wealth giving powerful combination present in your horoscope. And this is not the money which you are going to receive because of your efforts you are putting into job or into your work. This is because you are going to receive because of your bhagya. Because you need to understand one very, very important thing as I initially told you, this is the contributing factor. Ninth house is going to contribute into your life. And if it is in the second house, other people they are going to give you the things which you are going to desire in your life. Even with this combination, sometimes it becomes very difficult for you fox to save wings. You know that savings or bank account, it becomes very difficult for you to save money with this combination. But from the investment point of view, very good combination. Even if you want to become a full-time trader, uh, like uh, intraday trader or going into the share market and the stock market field also, this is also going to be a very perfect combination. But I will tell you, you must need to study the fifth house also. This is the speculation and speculative gains. But if Bhagya is coming in your second house, it means based upon your Bhagya, you are going to receive the blessings of Malakshmi. At the same time, this placement is actually going six places away. So first of all, you need to be very careful with your hidden enemies. I don't recommend these individuals for doing a nine to five job. Because the politics or the political environment around your career is going to like take all your energy away. It becomes very difficult for you to then rise high or climb further. I'm not saying you don't have the capability to go to the top level of any organization, but still that honor is going to be present over there. So Bhagya is not going to receive the affliction of the honor at the same time. So either the self-employment or some sort of a business that is going to be best suitable career option in front of you individuals. Even most importantly, if you try to study ninth house Lord is going in the second house, this is also the house of your family. So here the responsibilities of all the family members is also going to be upon your shoulder. Sometimes this combination is even going to take you away from your complete family, secludedness, loneliness. That is also going to be seen with this combination. Because I will tell you, try to understand one very important thing. Ninth house Lord is not here present only to give you money. Ninth house Lord is present here to give you every sort of blessings. Family blessings, personal life blessings, professional life blessings, traveling, enjoying, entertainment, everything I will tell you. Ninth house Lord wants you to enjoy every aspect of your life. And if it is going in the second house, this is constrained only over the money part. So first of all, if you individuals are having this combination, it is very, very important for you to have that work life balance here. You need to try to escape from that professional or working side and go somewhere else. And then if you are going to detach with that thing, this is going to be a very important thing. Even you need to learn how to emotionally connect with someone like uh, how much actually emotions are necessary because these individuals they are always into a state of dilemma whether i need to look after family or i need to look after my work family or work family or work so that personal space look after themselves is going to be absent over there so that is where i'm recommending you even the these individuals if it is in your hand try to stay away from the hustle bustle of the city environments also this is even going to be good for your mental peace because I will tell you money is going to flow irrespective of the like which direction the wealth is flowing because this is going to be a, a multiple income sources kind of a combination at the same time. If you need to study as I told you try to study the conjunction also. If suppose the ninth house lord going in that house and this is forming a conjunction with second or eleventh house lord definitely I will tell you money is going to be there but try to find some escape route where you can escape from the work and the family and you need to have some sort of other hobbies maybe cultivation uh, purchasing a farmhouse doing some sort of a farming activity this is going to give you that mental peace because bhagya i told you ninth house lord is going to give you everything don't just solely focus over one activity you need to actually focus more upon expanding the qualities and the characteristics of your life this is going to be very good for you now, if the ninth house Lord going in the third house, so this is expecting first of all the ninth house. 
I will tell you that Lord is never going to be bad now. Because first of all, you need to understand one thing here. No planet want to destroy its own house. No planet. So irrespective of the dignity, that Lord is also expecting the Bhagya. This is double Bhagya. When I say double Bhagya, so you need to try to first of all study the which planet is doing that thing and if that planet is conjunction with some other planets or not. I will tell you this is that kind of a placement where the improvement of Bhagya is there but at the same time the planet that is in conjunction with that thing is also going to get improved. So the significance of both or even if three planets are over there significance of all that three planets are actually getting enhanced. Even if the planets like Brihaspati, Surya, they are going to give you a lot of knowledge with regards to Jyoti Shastra. Even Vastu people I have seen with this combination. Third house is also the house of YouTubers. Mass media communication, journalism sector. I am filming right now this video here. So you are watching that video over there. So this is that third house. Third house is the house of your communication, presentation part. You need to present yourself in front of other people. So you first of all always need to be in the front end. Don't think like that going to back end will going to solve all my problems. No, that is not going to happen. You always need to be in the front end. It may be in the management side where you need to look from the top things. Don't work below like level with this combination. If you are working below, please change your streams immediately. You are going against your Bhagya. You need to work somewhere where actually you are dealing with the top environment at the same time. Self-employment is also a very good option, I will tell you here. But that is going to be a tricky part because in the initial stages of the life, this is the house of your self-efforts, okay? The efforts that you are actually putting. So Bhagya is only going to support you if you are putting efforts. But I will tell you, if you are giving your 100% efforts, Bhagya is going to give you 200%. This is that combination. That is why I am calling it is a double bhagya because if here the efforts are also getting fructified, it may going to take some course of time in actually for you to see that results. Please don't like because in Vedic astrology, most of the individuals they tend to complain like I am having this combination and not receiving the results. It may be you are not in that planetary Mahadasha, Antardasha. Because timings are also going to play a very important role in order to actually fructify something. So you need to actually start putting efforts. This is most important part because their efforts have the energy to convert into debt. Even these individuals in the initial stages, they need to go through lot of transformations. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So this is their pattern. It may be sometime this pattern might going to take up to 35, even 42 and 48 as well. But I will tell you this have the ability to improve the quality of your complete life. This even have the placement. If the second and the 11th house lord is actually supporting this combination, you have the ability to create the generational wealth. Your kids, your, their kids, their, their, their kids, they are also going to feed because over this part. This is a very strong combination. Don't underestimate this thing. This is a double Bhagya combination. Now, if the ninth house Lord going in the fourth house, first of all, then the fourth house is going to become the obstruction in front of you. When I say obstruction, you first of all must need to leave the place of birth. I'm talking about place where you actually born. I'm not talking about current place. First of all, you need to remove that affliction, that obstruction from here. Because this is going to then create a blockage over there. This is even a Kadashtak 6-8 relationship going 8 places away from its original placement. So in order for you to look for the positive transformations, move away from the home country. The further you are going to move away, the further more your bhage or your fortune is going to improve drastically. This is also going to be a placement which have the ability to create a lot of disturbances in your personal life and even in the marriage and the married life side. Because fourth house is actually the marital bliss, the happiness or the satisfaction which you are going to receive because of your life partner. Here I will tell you sometime age differences are also going to be very high if this combination is occurring 
with certain other combinations. Even this is that placement where the cultural differences are going to play a very important role. Initially, when I discuss with regards to, okay, try to find a partner outside of your cultural differences, this is that thing. Because if you are marrying within the same community, it becomes very difficult for the sustenance and survival of the relationship. Even ninth house lord going in the fourth, expecting the tenth house, have the ability to sometimes create instability in the career environment. First of all, with this combination, this have the ability to take you up, up, more up. But I will tell you this sometime factor have the declining factor at the same time. Because Khadashta combination is not a good thing. This have the ability to actually bring the transformations either in the positive side or either in the negative side. You can also consider this as a wealth losing combination at the same time. You need to be very, very careful if you are having this combination and if the dignity of the planet is very, very weak, try to save more and more so that at, at least the monthly expense of your life is getting paid by that savings interest or anything. Security is going to become a very, very important part. Otherwise, I will tell you fourth house is your comfort zone. If you want to feel secure in your life and that a Khadashta combination will never put create that kind of a situation where you are having the security. You are running hard, running hard, running hard, running hard, but still no, not be able to fulfill or create that security. So that security factor is very important. Unnecessary fears are also going to originate with this combination. So when I say unnecessary fear, it may be fear of ill health, health, fear of death, fear of some other thing, fear of losing money. So that fears are actually going to accumulate over there. So first of all, it is very important for you to move away from family, move away from your place of birth. Only then that house is actually going to create some sort of a advantage in front of you. Otherwise, this become very difficult, I told you in all the other saving factors of marriage and the relationship part also. One very important thing, if you will observe, fourth house is also the house which is the uh, governed by the sign of cancer. So here this is the moon, okay, that is the motherly affection. So these individuals are also sometime they have received a lot of like lack of emotional nourishment is actually going to be seen inside these individuals. And then this is going to be further reflecting into their own personal or their married and the married life also. But I request you individuals is to don't give up on any situation. Wait until I will tell you the fourth house Lord, the Shah is coming. Then I will tell you this have the ability to create transformations. And I will tell you most of the things are in your hand. Most of the thing, ninth house, if it is not in your hand, your bhagya is not in your hand, other things are going to be in your hand. Even one very, very important thing, writing a book and publishing a book can also become the biggest contributing factor behind your successful journey. Now, next, the ninth house lord going in the fifth house. What a powerful combination this is. You need to understand one very important thing. Here the ninth house, your bhagya is actually going in the trine house, again the fifth house. So this is also a like as I told you the double Raj Yoga, this is actually a four times big Raj Yoga. Or even you can consider this planet have the ten time more strength than any other planet. The significance of that planet is actually getting enhanced up to very large extent here. I will tell you one more very important thing. No matter if the other placements are supporting this combination or not, this single combination is a sufficient to give you some sort of a positive support. Because this is that kind of a combination where you are gaining because of your bhagya. You are gaining not only money, reputation, respect in the society. Because here, fifth house, your past life treats, ninth house, your next janma, or this is your bhagya also. So if that is coming in that fifth house, all the accumulated karma, specifically the good karmas, which you have performed in the previous life, they have the ability to fructify and give results in the present life. This is also a very good combination if you want to contribute something very big for the society. This is that kind of a like placement where you see the leaving a legacy behind 
after your death you are going to be getting recognized so like only money is not going to be the main aim with this combination because you need to understand money can flow from any direction with this combination it may be you are like continuously for 12 hours you are working with non-profit organizations and maybe some other person is giving you money to do that thing so money is not going to be a problem over there you need to understand one very important thing keep your intent very pure don't think like that that individuals they have done the cheating and they have done this thing and that thing and they are becoming fortunate and i'm nothing you are everything i will tell you you are everything fifth house lord because this is i will tell you again this is a trine combination so when the trine combination is over there it become very very easy for you this will also help you to build a platform into your life when i say platform building wait until the dasha antar dasha because even if the antar dasha of ninth house lord is coming this have the ability to complete a u turn into your life even the children factor child birth is also going to bring lot of prosperity directly into your life if sometime i will tell you fifth house lord is very weak i understand it become difficult for you to produce a child depending upon the female male both the kundlis but still the adoption can also bring the prosperity don't worry about like how i'm going to look after these kids or that thing here i will tell you start taking more responsibilities never ever afraid of taking responsibilities in your life this is also going to be a more risk taking kind of a placement if you are willing to take risk and sacrifice everything this placement is going to give you everything if i will tell you even if this with this combination you are not successful you are not taking this i bet 100 on a 100 time the like if you are having this combination and still you are struggling in your life and not been able to gain financial success or the career success the only problem you are not willing to take the risk you are not willing to leave your comfort zone even with this combination if you are not successful i will show you 100 out of 100 kundlis with this placement and these individuals are highly successful this is also going to be a very good placement if you want to become astrologer numerologer palmistry any sort of consultant consulting activities advisory firms preaching teaching giving some sort of a guidance setting up a business working as an independent share market consultant stock market speculation speculative gains all the things this come easily to you you need to understand we must need to take the risk even after taking risk if you fail and it is necessary this is totally a na very natural thing our society is designed in a such a way if you are failing they are going to punish you badly but i will tell you without failures no success is over there if you are right now thinking that that thought have striked into your mind okay that astrologer is telling me to take risk and now i will take risk this is the exact time even sometime i will tell you god is going to create universe in such a way you are watching this video i am sending one message from here so you are receiving this message in some other country this might going to be god is doing some conversation with you and i am just at like entity who is actually giving you some that guidance but keep this thing in your mind risk taking is very important for you now the ninth house lord going directly in the sixth house first of all here the education have nothing to do with your career if you are right now in a dilemma of taking pursuing further education or not please don't pursue the further educations even if you are going to have multiple masters degree multiple phd even doctorate degrees or what sort of knowledge only the practical experiences are going to work with this combination <laughs> there is no use of all the any sort of theoretical knowledge coming with this combination sixth house is also the house of your routines your day to day activities so first of all it is very important for you to reschedule or reshuffle your life because with this combination what is happening over there this is going to put forth a lot of bulkiness into your day to day life when i say bulkiness you will feel suffocated from inside and why you are feeling suffocation because that bulkiness factor is coming over there here first of all try to create a lot of emptiness in your life this is the biggest remedy please go inside your home where you are staying right now look into the things that you have not used for past 6 month and give them away 
don't think like that oh my goodness how can i give this thing away i'm going to use that thing after maybe next month no if you are not utilize that thing for six months give that thing away at the time if you need something you can purchase it new new one but give that thing away creating a inner space is becoming very important because i will tell you this is also sometime be a obstruction giving placement in front of your individuals so when i say obstruction it become very difficult for you to receive some new things if you are not going to if you are not willingly going to remove the old things from your life you need to understand the concept of regeneration as at the same time like circulation of water this is actually expecting the 12th house of pisces that is why i am teaching you this knowledge pisces is that sort of a realm which have the ability to clear all the clutter so that the uh, like okay that this is the clear water on one side and mud water on the other side so in the similar manner you need to create that separation entity over there segregation is the exact word so you need to segregate first of all what things are important and what things are not important and you need to pay attention towards that area that are very very important spend 80 to 90% time over the productive activities because sixth house is also the house of enemies distraction negativity so these are the influences which are holding you back they are not permitting you to then move ahead or proceed further in your life so you need to create a emptiness or secludedness with this combination even it is much preferable for you to live all alone rather than staying in any sort of negative environment try to stay all alone with this combination then i will tell you are going to see the miracles which are actually formed even by this combination this is also a great combination if you want to look for the commission oriented activity have you seen the mutual fund hedge fund managers like they are managing other people money growing their money and charging 1 to 2% commission over the other people money so that is also very important thing because if the dignity is very very powerful over there then the factor of trust is going to be present over there now if the ninth house lord going in the seventh house have the ability to create disturbances in your marriage and the married life but at the same time the survival of your marriage is totally dependent upon one or two factor one factor is going to be the prosperity which you are receiving because of the other person and second factor it may be because of your own neediness you need that thing even with this combination don't become a rational thinker don't think like that i am not meant for marriage and i will not do marriage my first relationship is not working second is not working so maybe third is not going to work don't think into that direction it is very very important for you to first of all entertain the relationships marriage is vitally important for you to become successful without marriage bhagya uday is not going to happen irrespective of what condition dignity of that lord is going to be even if it is very weak still i recommend you to do marriage because this is itself a yoga trine house going in the quadrant house is itself a biggest raj yoga here i will tell you here the most of the time career and that marriage part is also correlated or interconnected with each other if at some point these individuals their relationships are very good you see career is also going to be excellent but if at some point that career part is suffering or relationship is suffering career is also going to suffer a lot this is also that sort of a combination where marrying outside of your caste creed and cultural background is much preferable it become very difficult for you to actually find a person within the same community if you are going to marry a partner within same community with this combination i will tell you family disturbances is going to spoil your complete relation family dispute not only the boy side family but also the girl side family they are going to spoil your marriage so it is first of all much preferable for you to live alone totally secluded husband and wife only without interference and indulgence of the family members only then this is going to become the saving factor into your life and try to stay away from your home i know it sounds bit awkward like how that is straight forwardly telling me to do that thing but that is the only way in which you can protect and save your marriage bond lastly the ninth house lord going in the eighth house first of all bhagya sthan lord going in the eighth house don't consider my bhagya is going in the eighth house so this is not going to have any hope but i will tell you one very important thing these individuals or with this combination first of all ninth house lord will 
going to take you towards the extreme hopeless situation extreme hopeless you are going to lose all your hopes sometime <laughs> this is going to create a non believers of everything they are stop believing in everything not even astrology not even any everything is this is but i will tell you when they reach that hit that extreme point then their bhagya is going to give them but this is their particular karma where they need to reach towards the dead end in their life it is also very preferable for you individuals actually not to go for any sort of competition because if you are going into competition then this actually have the ability to create a lot of mental trauma sometime inside you because these individuals they have the ability to take something very inside their heart because of their emotional aspect their overly sensitive nature because other individuals they are not going to look into their overly sensitive nature from the outside but from the inside they they are in, internally very sensitivized kind of a creatures they are also going to have big hopes wishes desires just like you and me just like other any other individual but the pattern of their life is actually shaped in such a way they are always going towards the extreme end and still sometime that disappointment factor is going to be there and if that disappointment factor is over there these individuals they tend to become very disappointment so first of all it is very important for you to remove the disappointments from your life and consider failures as a part of your life consider failures as a stepping stones upon which the foundation of my bhagya is going to be there even this is very very important factor eighth house as i told you this is the house of transformation and even the occult sciences i have seen a lot of wonderful astrologers with this particular combination also although this have the ability to sometime create lack of self confidence as well like they will not be able to communicate their emotions freely with other people but i will tell you they are having the knowledge ninth house is your belief system so they deeply have the ability to go and minutely research over something writing and thousands of books over that one particular subject so this is that kind of a mentality but i will tell you eighth house is also the house which is connected with marriage okay that is your in laws so because of your in laws bhagya is supporting you sometime if the dignity is weak then i will tell you with the passage of time that family disputes they are going to occur and then this have the ability to create affliction in the seventh house that is the house of your marriage and the married life aspect so i hope all of you individuals have found some deep insights in this particular video for any sort of consultations marriage career spiritual share market consultation do let me know and i will try my best to respond you back as soon as possible so till then please subscribe my channel below and uh, make sure to hit the like button if you really enjoyed this video you can send me super thanks <laughs> if you find this knowledge valuable or even if you are not giving me super thanks still i'm very happy and make sure to follow me on instagram at the same time and i will try my best to meet you as soon as possible till then please take care of yourself and may god bless you bye bye and take fresh oxygen <laughs> <laughs>